Hello again. So, you, you still decided to come back? Bantam's boil has failed. Somewhere in the combustion chamber. Bantam is back under the bench. Not forever. No, not forever. Certainly until she's running again. And we've had a look and sorted out the B1. On to Polly. Let's go closer. You saw me in a previous video get the boiler stripped down. Because of what happened with Dad, I've been putting this job off for a long, 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 long time. Because this hasn't been touched since Dad touched it. The last job we finished on her was putting the biggest steam chest on. With an output, uh, with a plumbing fitting for a steam chest pressure gauge. Poly 6. She's got a Cordina exhaust. I need to remake the limper nozzle based on the stuff we found out with Trojan and Tom's Enterprise. Uh, the axle pump return part has been beefed up and it's got an expansion chamber on it. We also made solid running boards. Which are almost finished, they've got a little bit to do on them. And we lowered her another eighth of an, eighth of an inch. Which sounds easy, you'd think you just wind the springs down. But to lower her down that eighth of an inch meant that the flange on the rear wheel would then smash into the stand for that so we had to space that off the front pony needed then lowering down so that needed a new bracket making up to, to avoid the axle pump but the work to the chassis me and dad finished when me and dad were doing it we wasn't going to repaint the chassis we were just going to get it mechanically sorted and get it back together we wasn't even going to paint the boiler but having, having known that I'm going to repaint the boiler, then opens the question about do we repaint the rest? So I am going to strip the chassis, drop the wheels out of it, drop off as much else as, as, is, as is sensible. What remains can then be masked. We'll rub back and take all this off, reprime and spray black, touch up, do the same with the red. The red on the inside is not too bad, it's just missing in a few places. And then we'll reassemble. So this one should be a pretty quick job, other than the rubbing down the painting. I hate painting. Looks good, but it's such a pain in the ass. And then the running boards. I probably should repaint them. Because they've cracked a little bit. The varnish is the lacquer's cracked. But I want to see how well that cleans up before I go strip and do anything to that. all there is to the pony which is in bloody good nick actually so i think that can just go back on you'll notice a lot of stuff happened off camera i just needed the headspace so the brake rigging's off the plumbing is off the drain clock linkage also off we also let the valve gear go let the axle pump go and let the connecting rods go like on a poly everything comes apart ridiculously easy so now we're onto the part of removing the wheel sets with the valve gear attached, with the rods attached. So what that involves is taking the six keep plates off, two bolts each, 
then we'll put her back up the right way on her wheels on the bench once I've cleared a bit of space from where I've been working and then we'll wind the adjusting studs off the top. <laughs> stripped as she's gonna get after a quick trip to the park for a quick degrease and blast down this is where we are as a starting point this is as low as we're gonna get with Polly everything you see will have be masked up and painted or masked up and left alone depending on its state Okay, is at this point we will stop it there for today. I will not show you the painting, as I previously said. Join me next time when we start reassembling. Reassembly is almost a straightforward job. Like I said, the running boards need finishing off, which means drilling and tapping some holes in them for the lubricator and the and the remaining running board and valances. But then it should be a pretty straightforward reassembly job with the boiler.